found in the Daily Mail. Lord Beaverbrook. Not Lord Beaverbrook, that's the Express. Satan is closer. Oh. Was, it, <laughs> was it just a Lord of Beavers in a brook? <laughs> no, it's a family that still exists and still controls the group. Is it's it a Patak family? family? No, 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 it's not the Patak's. <laughs> If we found out, it was founded in 1896 oh. by Alfred Harmsworth, who later became Lord Northcliffe. So uh, Alfred Harmsworth was a, a great showman, and he had a brilliant gift for making Daily Mail readers think they kind of owned the mail. So he was always having competitions, asking them how the mail could be improved, for example. And there were people who wrote in and said, you should perforate your articles so we could tear them out like the stamps. Which is an interesting idea. Are you sure that wasn't for toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> Someone else suggested that each page should be perfumed differently so it smelled different. And chip paper too. What if you confuse the chip paper with the toilet paper? And madness would ensue. Yeah. <laughs> but before he was a press baron, he actually wrote a rather QI style book which had the marvellous title of Answers to Correspondence on Every Subject Under the Sun. The first edition contained articles with headlines What the Queen Eats. Uh, how to cure freckles and why Jews don't ride bicycles. <laughs> what, the, the, those three answers covered everything. Yeah, well, <laughs> some of the questions. All right, right. But part of the showman in him was that he guaranteed that if you died with a copy of that book on you, your estate would get £200. He was a real showman. Now, listen to this obituary. And let me know what kind of person is being described. <laughs>